Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Again, I want to thank you again for joining us. This is the Heart of David International Ministries. I am your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. It is so glad, it is so nice to have you joining us. Hallelujah. Glory wow. to your mighty name. Uh, our subject today, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, is I will take heed, I will, I will take heed to my ways that I will not sin with my tongue. David said that. David said, I'm going to take heed and I'm going to watch what I say to people. I need to make sure that I do not sin with my tongue. I don't want to sin with my mouth. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father God. In the precious name of Jesus, we honor you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just talk a little bit because we talk about the power of the tongue and we talk about the words that you speak. Hallelujah. So you got to be careful with the words that you speak. You got to be careful to you allowing people to speak certain things to you. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Remember, the Bible says, who glory to God. The tongue mm, sets on nature, the fire, uh, uh, sets on uh, uh, nature fire. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to start off with a... Uh, hold on. Where are my notes at? Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and start off with Psalms 39 and 1. And that's our uh, that's our base scripture today, Psalms thirty nine and one. It says, "Hallelujah!" I said, "I will take heed to my ways, that I will not sin with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me." So David is telling you right here. Whoo, glory to God, that I'm going to keep silent even in the presence of my uh, enemies, even in the presence of wicked people before me. Glory to your mighty name. We got to understand, and what we have today is a lot of people say, well, they saying this is a lie. I got to defend myself. I got to speak up. Sometimes it's best for you to be silent and let God deal with those people. Let God justify you. Hallelujah. Because a lot of times you start defending yourself and it comes out even worse for you than it, is, does, it, than it does that people. They ask you, why are you getting so offended? If it ain't true, why worry about it? And the first thing that you say, oh, I, I got to speak up. I ain't going to let nobody do that to me. I'm going to tell them. Well, you tell them if you want to, but you're also telling them in a bad uh, attitude. You telling them you ready to fight. You doing all this stuff. Hallelujah. But David said, hallelujah. David said, mm, let's go back to Psalms 30, uh, Psalms 31. I'm sorry. Psalms 39 and 1. It said, I said I will take heed to my ways that I will not see that I let me start over. I said I will not, I said I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle. While the wicked is before me, David said that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me, while the wicked is before you. And they're talking about you. They're dogging you out. They're assassinated your, uh, uh, your character. 
Hallelujah. They they killed you. They they said you're not nothing. But David said, in the presence of wickedness, I'm going to hold my tongue with the bridle. Because David knows, in this case, God is the only one that is going to justify him. Hallelujah. I know everybody said, uh-uh, I ain't letting them say that. That's a lie. I'm getting back at them. I got to say something. Sometimes it's good for you to be quiet and let God do the work because you running off at the mouth and you trying to let everybody know you ain't no punk, you ain't no wimp, you ain't going to let nobody walk over you. You're not allowing God to step in and justify you. You're trying to justify yourself. I know it's hard sometimes, but you got to allow God to justify you. We have to learn how to put a bridle on our tongue. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Verse two says in Psalms 39, verse two, I was dumb with silence. I held my peace even from good. Mm. And my sorrow was stirred. David said, I was dumb with silence. I held my peace even from good and my sorrow was stirred. Hallelujah. David said, I was dumb when, when we talk about, when the Bible talk about being dumb, that's talking about somebody being mute. They can't speak. Whoo, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. David said, I was dumb with silence, meaning I kept my peace. I didn't say anything. I didn't have a comment. I didn't say nothing to nobody else. I held my peace. I was dumb with silence. I kept a bridle on my tongue. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Mm. Let's read that again. Psalms 39 and 2. I was dumb with silence. I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred. He said, I held my peace. Even when some people tried to defend me, I held my peace. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. And even though sorrow was stirred up on the inside of me, I held my peace. I didn't say anything. I have to allow God to justify me. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. God is God and God is my defender. God is my help. And I got to know right now, whoo, glory to God. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That he is going to be there for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Verse three, my heart was hot within me while while I was musing with fire, muzzling with fire, burned. Then spake I with my tongue. Listen to me. My heart was hot within me. David said, my heart was hot within me. You know, I'm hot. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to go to blow. We just going to have to fight today because they talking too much. Hey, I can't let nobody talk to me. If you're going to talk to me like that, we might as well fight and get it over with. My God, David said, hallelujah. Mm. He said, my heart was hot within me while I was musingly with fire and burn. Then spake I with my tongue, Lord, make me to know my end and the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how, how frail I am that I may know how frail that I am. Hallelujah. David said, let me know how frail that I really am. I, I realize mm, as I get a little older, I'm not old yet, but as I get a little older, mm, I'm not as strong as I used to be. I'm just a little bit more fragile than I used to be. Hallelujah. David said, I know how frail I am. Hallelujah. Through my time of living, I found out I am frail. I found out if God don't keep me, it, it doesn't do me anything. It, everything that I do, if God not in it, it is in vain. Hallelujah. 
Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm. Let's read in verse four and five together. We're going to say, Lord, make me to know my end and the measure of my days, what it is, mm. that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as in hand breadeth, and my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Selah. Every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Hallelujah. I said altogether vanity. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. It is altogether vanity. So even at your best, you still know if it ain't for God, I'm nothing. It's vanity. I am frail without the presence of God in my life. I want God in my life. I want God on me. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Whoo, thank you, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you today. And we honor you and we magnify you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Whoo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Mm. Let's go to James three and six. The book of James. Three and six. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. James chapter three, verse six, mm. it says, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So it is the tongue among our, so the tongue, blah, blah. hallelujah, let me start over. Uh, James chapter three, verse six, and the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature. Mm. And it is set on fire of hell. So your tongue can set on fire the course of nature. You can speak something and all of a sudden, no matter what you do, you can't take it back. Your apologies won't help. It has started a wildfire that is uh, under uh, that is out of control. And then once that's out of control, the Bible tells you the tongue is set on fire from hell. The fires of hell, if you don't bridle your tongue, it is set on fire from the fires of hell. We have to watch what we say to people, what we say about people. Whether even if you telling them in their face, I ain't afraid to tell nobody nothing. I'm going to tell them in their face. You got to be careful. Hallelujah. Glory. The tongue, if it's not bridled, is set on fire from the fires of hell. Watch what you say, how you say, and who you say it to. It's not about being weak. It's not about letting somebody talk crazy to you. Hallelujah. The tongue, glory to God. Mm. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to James 4 and 11. And it says, mm, speak not evil one to another, brother. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judges the law, mm, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. If you judge the law, you're not a doer of the law. Listen, I understand 
ain't nobody perfect. I understand we all sin and come short of the glory of God. That's in the book of Romans. Hey, but you got to understand if you don't bridle this tongue, you have destroyed your marriage. You have destroyed your family. You have destroyed your friendship. You may have destroyed your job. They will fire you. Hallelujah. See, we got to learn how to bridle our tongue and let, and let God work it out. You got to know when to speak, when God tells you, okay, talk. You need to talk, not just get mad and run it off at the mouth, thinking you doing what you're supposed to do because I ain't let nobody run, run over me. I understand you don't want nobody talking crazy to you. Don't nobody do. At some point, it's like, hey, you need to be quiet. If not, we're going to go to blow. If I lose, I lose, but I'm not going to sit up here and allow you to talk to me that way. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Mm. Let's go up to uh, uh, James 4 and verse 10. It said, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift, lift you up. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he should lift you up. Have you, have you really humbled yourself in the sight of the Lord? Have you? Mm, that's the question. Have you humbled yourself in the sight of the Lord? Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let's go back over to Psalms, and we're going to go back into 39, because I want to hit Psalms 1 again, because I, I, I mean Psalms 39 and 1, because I want you to understand, David is a king, and David humbled himself. His enemies may be other king and maybe some conspirators, conspirators in his own castle, but David said, I'm going to bridle my tongue. I am not going to speak until the Lord Jesus Christ tells me to speak. Hallelujah. He said, hallelujah, glory to your name. Psalms 39 and 1, I said, this is what David said. David said, I said, mm, I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with, a, with bridle. Wow, the wicked is before me. Even the wicked, even my enemies that are before me are lying. They are tearing me down. You know they are lying. Everybody know they're lying. Hallelujah. But David said, I got a bright on my tongue right now. Mm. I don't want to say nothing that's going to cause a war. A war. Hallelujah. You, David had the power now. David was a king. He could have said, we going to war and we, we wiping out everybody in your kingdom and we wiping out your bloodline. Hallelujah. David learned he had to be quiet sometimes and wait for the Lord to speak to him. Hallelujah. That's where we going into discernment. That's where we going into obedience to the word of God. God's telling you, don't say it, don't say it. No, Lord, I'm telling them anyway. I'm just going to repent later. No, don't do it. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Let's go down to Psalms 39 and 8. It says, deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. He said, deliver me from all my transgressions and make me not the reproach of the foolish. See, if I don't say nothing, you won't even be able to twist it into what you want, to what you want everybody to hear or whatever. You can't edit nothing. But if I'm quiet, you have nothing to say. Mm. You can't use nothing that I said against me, even though I didn't say anything wrong. You're not there. You can't twist it up. What did they say? What did I say? Hey, he ain't say nothing. What you mean he ain't say nothing? He didn't say nothing. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your mighty name. We got to understand 
even though we are saved and we are sanctified. And I know we really got to get the power of the tongue under subjection. You get mad and you're married. You say something to your wife. You had no business doing it. And then you come back and say, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that. You don't get mad at your, and the wife uh, uh, say something to the husband and she come back and say, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. So now that's why we got to come to learn how to bridle our tongue. We got to bridle our tongue. We got to know when to speak and when not to speak. Glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. Let's go over to uh, Titus 3 and 2. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory. Titus chapter 3, verse 2. Mm. Was that Titus or Timothy? Hold on, let me look at my notes. Hallelujah. Okay, it's Titus. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, Titus chapter 2, I'm, I'm sorry, this Titus chapter 3, verse 2. It says this, speak evil of no man to be, not, to be no brawler, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. He says, speak evil of no man. So now, when you say speak evil of no man, the first thing you say is, I need to repent. I've said something to people. I shouldn't have said it. I've spoken on things that I shouldn't have spoken on. I didn't have the right information. I didn't have the right detail. I'm sorry for speaking against anybody that I should not have spoke against. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why he tell you speak evil of no man. It, look, when the Bible tells you to love your enemies, you got to love them. He tells you to pray for them. Hallelujah. He tells you to pray for him. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So we have to learn how to bridle our tongue. Bridle in our tongue will help our, uh, 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 our spirit. We'll keep our spirit clean. We'll keep it sanctified. We'll keep it pure. Hallelujah. Why? Because we got to watch it. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Let's go on over to where we at. All right. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew chapter 15. Hallelujah. And chapter, I mean, chapter Mark chapter 15, verse 11. Not that which goeth into the mouth that follows the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth. This the father of the man. Let's go back up to uh 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 um let's read from verse eight, Matthew 15 and 8. Hallelujah. And we're gonna stop at 12 or 11. The people drew drew near unto me with their mouth and honored me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. But in vain they did worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, hear and understand. Jesus said, hear and understand. Mm. Not that which goeth into the mouth mm, defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. Defileth the man. Then, the, then his disciples said unto him, Knoweth thou that the Pharisees were offended after, after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant 
which it, which my heavenly father has planted shall be rooted up. Okay, this is what he's saying. Not that which goeth into your mouth to follow you, but that which cometh out of the mouth the fathers of man. Because what's in you is going to come out of you anyway. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, if you ain't saved, you're going to have the world system coming out of you. You're going to have what man said and not what God said, not what Jesus said, not what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Make sure when you talk to people, when you talk about people, don't let it be bad. Every time you say something, hallelujah, it is negative. Glory to your mighty name. Stop talking bad to your husband. Stop talking bad to your wife. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Ephesians 4 and 31. Hallelujah, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 4 and 31. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know what? Let's read Ephesians 4 and 30. Let, I tell you what. Let's read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30, verse 29 through uh uh 32, 29 through 32, Ephesians chapter 4. 29 say, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearer, and give not thy, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto, unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and all wrath and anger and calmliness and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one towards another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Hallelujah. He said, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Now, verse 30 says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Grieve not the Spirit of, of God. You don't want to grieve him by how you talking about somebody so much. You always got something to say, whether it has something to do with you or whether it don't have anything to do with you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. So he's telling you in verse 31, let all bitterness, wrath, and anger, and, calm, and clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. You don't want to be bitter, and you don't want to have wrath, anger, or clamor, and evil speaking. You don't want to have, you don't want to speak evil. Every time you got something to say, it's something negative. It's something bad. You're always talking about somebody. You're always dogging them out. Hallelujah. You don't want to be evil spoken of. You don't want evil coming out of your mouth all the time. Hallelujah. And especially you calling yourself saved. Talking about I'm just telling the truth. Well, why don't you go ahead and pray? Hallelujah. You pray and get the right spirit in you and get this bitterness out of you. You get the evil speaking out of you. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. So today we need to say, Lord, I'm going to do my best not to speak evil of anybody. The first thing I want to do is pray. I don't want bitterness on the inside of me. The more you talk about something, the bitter you can get, the more bitter you can get. I don't care if it's happened on your job. I don't care if you've been through a divorce. I don't care if it's a family member. You're mad at your mama, your daddy. You're mad at your siblings. You're mad at your, your best friend, first cousin, whatever it is. Glory to your mighty name. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. And be ye kind one towards another, 
This is verse 32, Ephesians uh, 4 and 32. And be ye kind one towards another, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. You can't forgive nobody, but yet you saved and you know God delivered you from your sin, your iniquity, your abomination, your transgression. He has washed you clean, but how can you not forgive somebody? In Christ Jesus have forgiven you. I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you to become their best friend. I said you need to forgive them. I preached a message that you have to forgive, even if they don't acknowledge what they have done. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to Ephesians uh, 4 and 25. It says, wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man's truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. We are members one of another. We are members of the body of Christ. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, help me. That's why we need to stop fighting each other. Baptist fighting the AME, Pentecostal apostolic fighting Church of God in Christ. All these serves, we are one body. We got to come together. If we come together, the power of God will show up more in the church. It will show up more in your life. It will show up, hallelujah, the power of God. Hallelujah. There is no other God other than God, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. You better understand something. Hallelujah. You better watch your tongue. You better bridle your tongue. I know they lying. I know you ready to fight. Bridle your tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bridle your tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, whoo, glory to God. We are about to go, but I just want to let you know, you have to bridle your tongue. You got to know when to speak. You got to know when not to speak. There's a lot of people that lost their job because their boss trying to talk to them and you start talking over the boss, try to cut the boss out, tell him, I don't care if I, I, I ain't going to keep the job. Uh -uh. I'm going to say whatever I want to say and have a, however I want to say it. That's why the security walk you out. I'm not telling, listen, I never said let somebody just walk over you and just totally disrespect you and do all that. I said, you got to watch how you uh, uh, speak. Bright on your tongue. Everything don't need a comment. You got people coming up to me, shoot, I wouldn't have put up with that. I would have had to tell them. I would have said, I would have told them what's on my mind. No, because now you saved and God is going to work it out for you. Hey, glory to God. I said, Christ Jesus is going to work it out for you. You got to give God the opportunity to do it. He can do it, but a lot of times God's not going to do it because you decide to do it yourself. God taking too long. I don't have the patience to wait. I ain't letting this happen. God know that he should have been here already. The devil is a liar. We got to believe in God no matter what. You, you, you gave your testimony, A, that you'll never leave him or forsake him. You gave him your testimony. God is good. He the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Hallelujah. So now we got to be Christ-like. And we need to do the best to bridle our tongue. Hallelujah. We are about to go. But remember, we have a Facebook and a YouTube page. And it's the Heart of David International Ministry. Hallelujah. Again, if you have any comments, questions, hallelujah. You can email me at hodim.org or hodim1117 at gmail.com. The hodim.org is the website. The hodim1117 is my personal email. Hallelujah. 
listen, we look strong, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want to know one thing. Are you saved? If you are not saved, this is the best time to get saved. All you got to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus died on the third, uh, uh, Jesus died and rose on the third day. You got to believe that Christ Jesus is really Lord. Listen to me. And I, I'm going to say this and I say it all the time. The Jesus is the only one who died on the cross and rose again. He is the only one that took the sins of this world away. Hallelujah. It wasn't Allah. It wasn't Buddha. It wasn't Muhammad. It wasn't none of this uh, uh, evolution. It was Christ Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that will wash all your sins away. All you got to do is say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm a sinner. I've made mistakes. I want you to forgive me. Hey, glory to God. Forgive me. Thank you for washing me in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for giving me another chance. You said that and you did that with a sincere heart. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. You are saved. Now, what do you need to do after that? You need to go get a Bible and start reading it. Listen, I, I tell you the King James Bible. Don't deal with the other translations. We'll get with that later. You go with the King James Bible. You read it. Well, I don't understand it. Read it anyway. And then you get you a prayer life. Lord, look, pray. Well, I don't know how to pray. Start praying anyway. God, uh, God know what you're saying. Remember, he's the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings. He made you. He made the heavens and the earth. God said, hallelujah, let there be light. And there was light. God will hear your prayers. As long as you praying out of sincerity, God will honor your prayer. I said he will honor your prayer. Don't listen to no devils. Your friends talking about, oh, it don't work. You, you wasting your time. Let the power of God show in your life. You pray. You read the Bible. Well, how long should I pray? As long as you can. As many times as you can. Well, how long should I read? As long as you can. Listen, God loves you. Don't let this world tell you and deceive you and tell you that God is not God. Don't let nobody tell you that you can get to heaven uh, another way other than Christ Jesus. That is a lie. Only Christ Jesus, uh, that's the only way you're going to get to heaven. That's the only way you're going to get to Father God. And people say, well, why do we have to go through Jesus and God is there? It's just like uh, uh, we set it up. You don't go into a, a building and go straight into the CEO. You don't do that. You got to make a step. Jesus, you got to go through him because Jesus died on the cross for you. Jesus is the one who came down from heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus is the one that took on the form of man. Jesus' blood is the one that washed you. Hey, glory from all your sins. Jesus Christ is the one who did that. It ain't Buddha, it ain't Muhammad, it ain't none of this other stuff. It ain't no John Smith. No, it's not. It's only Christ Jesus and, and him alone. Paul told you, I don't want to hear nothing except Christ Jesus and him crucified. Hallelujah. Let me read this and we're about to go. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. God is always good. God is always good. First Corinthians chapter two. And remember, this is uh, uh, our, our scripture for the year. Glory to your mighty name. First Corinthians chapter two. Hallelujah. And verse two, it says, for I am determined not to know anything among you. Save Jesus Christ and him crucified. I don't want to know nothing except Jesus Christ and him crucified because he is the one hallelujah, that died for me. He is the one that made a way for me to get back into the right standing with God, that I can go to heaven, that there is a mansion for me up in heaven, Christ Jesus. I want the demonstration of the spirit with power. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. You better believe in the power of God. God still does 
worked miracles. Hallelujah. He still does open up blind eyes and that the dumb can hear and that the lame can walk. Don't let the devil deceive you because of the cares of this world. Hey, glory to God. I don't care what it looked like. You say, God, you gave me that word and I'm standing on this word. I know what it looks like. I see it is there, but I know the power of your word is going to deliver me. And I know the power of the word is going to heal me and strengthen me. I know your word will never leave me nor forsake me. Hallelujah. When the Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but my word won't pass away. That's why you want the word on the inside of you. The word will never pass away. The cares of this world would disappoint you, but Christ Jesus won't ever disappoint you. Well, you can tell me what the Lord let me down because I prayed and it didn't happen. That's because you wasn't praying in God's will. God will give you anything that you ask for according to his will. And if he would have gave you something, it would have been worse or off than, than the state that you are in right now. Lord Jesus, I said I meant it. You better believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And look, I'm not talking about you believing in him until a trial come up and then you crying and whining and you trying to go to some psychic hotline trying to get an answer and you didn't fall on your knees and say, Lord Jesus, help me. Father God, I need you to give me a strategy. I need you to give me help. I got the hounds of hell on me, Lord Jesus. I need the blood of Jesus to cover me. Hallelujah. I need the war angels from heaven to come down to help me fight this war. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we glorify you today. Hallelujah. We are about to go, and I will see you again tonight at 6 p.m. Uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time for our night service. Hallelujah. Again, we have the YouTube and the web, uh, uh, um, Facebook. Like, subscribe, and share. If you have any questions, leave a message, leave an a, a email or whatever. We will get back with you. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Be strong in the Lord. Hallelujah. And in the power of his might. Jesus is always the Lord. Hey, and there's nobody before him or after him or beside him. Jesus Christ is Lord. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. The word is Jesus Christ up in heaven. Hey, glory to your mighty name. We give you glory today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I look forward to seeing you. God bless you. Have a nice day.